has anyone like noticed that Jill Biden, Dr. Jill, is like a little magician? Like, I, you know, I, I don't know if she's like bewitched. Remember Samantha and bewitched where she could just do that little thing with her nose and then suddenly be in another place in another time. I always wished I could like clean my house like that, right? <laughs> I liked that show as a kid. I actually watched the reruns. But anyway, Jill Biden is flying all over the world these days. Uh, here's an article from Daily Mail. She just arrived at the court in Delaware this morning. 3,500 mile dash from France. And guess what? She's going back. She'll be back by tomorrow because she's got to be there to wrangle her husband at a state dinner. I mean, it's, it's a lot of traveling. It kind of makes you wonder, I mean, Jill's able to do it. How come not Joe? It's poor Joe, right? They, they got to get her back there really soon. But first of all, just to point out that her son, her, her stepson, is in court for some really bad stuff, like really, really, really bad stuff. And thank goodness he's there, by the way. Thank goodness he's there. It's thanks to one judge who was like, wait a second, I can't sign this. I, wh what does this mean? Okay, he's going to get off on the gun charge, but what about tax evasion? What about his foreign lobbying, et cetera, et cetera? So anyway, the prosecution today just rested its case. Jill was there to show her support but she has to hightail it back to France. Like seriously, because you know, who else is gonna do this? Remember I showed you the video yesterday? They're speaking in French and I get it, it's French. Here he is, taking a little cat nap along the way and you can see her leaning in, leaning in and she's about to nudge him. And they go straight to the flag. Convenient, convenient, nice little, nice touch, right? But he's over in Normandy, right? And lots of video that's been coming out of that. Some true, not so true. Um, anyway, point being, he's 81 years old and he's struggling. And it's a lot for anyone. Look, I mean, I've been doing it. Like I was over in Ireland recently and flew over, had every intention actually of doing a live show from Belfast. We ran into some technical complications, so I wasn't able to do it. But I did, I was live from Southern Ireland, actually, the very next day. We managed to do it, and then, you know, I fly back, and I, I'm here with you guys again. But I had, I had the weekend to do that, so I kind of feel for Jill. It's not exactly easy, but she is the first lady, and her husband, the president, ought to be able to handle it a little bit better. But he's struggling, as the Wall Street Journal reported this week at 45 different people that they interviewed, Republicans and Democrats, and everybody agrees. This is not the Joe they used to know.